this video we are going to see some tricky questions from 8051 that is some uh, mcq type of questions that can come from 8051 session okay so you can see the questions on board the first question is the logical instruction that affect the carry flag during its execution is dash a xrl that is uh, xor operation b a n l that is and c o r l is or d r l c that is rotate left through carry so from the uh, instruction it is very clear that the correct answer is option d r l c rotate left through carry we have to rotate the contents of accumulator register okay so the other instructions doesn't affect carry but this instruction will get or will affect the carry flag also okay so the correct answer for first question is option d not uh, only this rrc will also affect the carry flag okay rrc is rotate right through carry we have to rotate or uh, we have to rotate the contents of accumulator register okay anyway the correct answer for this first question is option d moving on to the next question which is the second question so the second question is the architecture of 8051 consists of a four latches b two timer registers c four on chip io ports d all the all the mentioned correct answer is all the mentioned because 8051 has four latches four port latches two timer registers four on chip ports all these are present in the architecture of 8051 so the correct answer is option d all these mentioned third question which architecture is followed by general purpose microprocessors so we have uh, discussed about the memory organization of 8051 as a detailed video you can watch it in which we have discussed about harvard and more newman architecture also in the beginning okay so here which architecture is followed by general purpose microprocessors a harvard architecture b von neumann architecture c none of the mentioned d all the mentioned the correct answer is general purpose microprocessors generally follow von neumann architecture so a von neumann architecture and harvard architecture mainly differs based on the memory organization for a von neumann the program memory and the data memory will be will be arranged as a single memory this is for von neumann and for Harvard, it will be separate. Okay. Program memory and data memory will be separate for Harvard architecture. So, general purpose, the question is for general purpose microprocessors, the correct answer is option B. Von Neumann architecture, they will be following. But for 8051 microcontroller, it follows Harvard architecture. That is, program memory and data memory is separate. Uh, in the memory organization itself it is crystal clear this organization separate rom and ram right so the question is for, for general purpose microprocessors and they follow von neumann architecture which is option b the fourth question the instruction that change the sequence of execution are a conditional instruction b logical instruction c control transfer instruction d data transfer instruction so the control transfer instructions actually control the sequence of execution okay correct answer is option c control transfer instructions transfer the control of execution or change the sequence of execution conditionally or unconditionally so they actually transfer or change the sequence of execution correct answer is option c control transfer instructions next question fifth question the register that may be used as an operand register is dash a accumulator b b register c data register the accumulator and B register. We know that both accumulator and B registers can be used as 
used to store operands right we uh, take a and we take b for storing of operands and its movements so the correct answer here is d both accumulator and b register okay fifth question correct answer is option d next question question number 6 When eight zero five one wakes up, then zero eight zero zero is loaded to which register? A DPTR, B SP stack pointer, C program counter, D PSW. So, uh, from the uh, mentioned options, DPTR is not uh, where zero eight zero zero is loaded. Actually, the correct answer is option C, because program counter is the most relevant register. For actually uh, operation of a eight zero five because it points to the next instruction to be executed, so it has to be initialized during the eight zero five one is waking up. So every time eight zero five one wakes up, zero x zero zero or the program counter is initialized with zero x zero zero. This is very important question. Okay, so program counter is initialized with zero x zero zero every time eight zero five one wakes up, and then it will. Uh, point to every next instruction to be executed. Likewise, it will be arranging the order of execution. Okay, so correct answer here is option C. Next question is question number seven. Which of the following is not an instruction of eight zero five one instruction? instruction set or instructions a arithmetical instruction yes there are a lot of arithmetical instructions b boolean c logical d none correct answer is none because from the mentioned all are various types of 8051 instruction there is arithmetical instruction data transfer boolean logical instructions so these are all types of 8051 instructions itself okay correct answer is option d none Eighth question. Which architecture provides separate buses for program and data memory? Okay, so this is actually it can be answered from one of the previous questions which we have discussed. A. Harvard architecture. B. Von Neumann architecture. C. None of the mentioned. D. All of the mentioned. Correct answer is A. Harvard architecture. So we have already discussed what is Von Neumann and what is Harvard. So in Harvard architecture, we know that there is separate program memory and data memory, and it has separate bus for program memory and data memory. So that architecture, which is Harvard architecture, provides separate bus for program and data memory. So that at a time the processor can access both program memory and data memory since they are passing through. Two separate buses. No congestion will be there. So these are actually advantages of having Harvard architecture. Anyway, the correct answer for a question is option A, Harvard architecture. Ninth question. EA bit is used to dash a enable or disable external interrupts. B enable or disable internal interrupts. C enable or disable all interrupts. D none of the mentioned. So while discussing about eight zero five one interrupts in a separate video, we have discussed about a register called interrupt enable register or IE register. So in that IE register, a field is there called EA through which we can enable and disable all interrupts. Now by enabling all interrupts, we are not Meaning that all interrupts are now active. When EA is equal to one, it means that now we can programmatically control the interrupts. But when EA is equal to zero, means we have disabled all interrupts, and thus we cannot programmatically uh, allow the happening of or programmatically turn on the any of these interrupts. Okay, so that is the meaning. It doesn't mean that when EA is equal to one, all interrupts are happening at a single time. No, it means that now we can programmatically control the other interrupts. So it is like a central unit which will control or which will allow us to control other 
fields of the IE register. Okay. So, when EA is equal to 1, we can programmatically control that is enable or disable individual interrupts. But when EA equal to 0 means all the interrupts are now disabled. Okay. So, the correct answer here is enable or disable all interrupts which is option C is the correct answer here. Please do watch the video on interrupts in which we have discussed in very detail about the IE register and IP register and the different types of H051 interrupts. Okay. So, that is question number 9. Next question, question number 10. The registers that contain the status information is A. Control register, B. Instruction register, C. Program status word, D. All the mention. Correct answer is the status information means generally we use flags, various flags to indicate the status of various uh, fields like or various conditions like auxiliary carry, happening of auxiliary carry, carry, parity, zero, overflow. These are various conditions, right? So, in order to or various statuses, in order to have these status information, these fields are actually present in a register called program status word or PSW register. So, this register contains all the status information. Okay. Correct answer is option C. Next question. Question number 11. The external interrupts of 8051 can be enabled by A. 4 LSBs of TCON register B. Interrupt enabled C. Priority register D. All the mentioned Yes, through all the above mentioned cases we can enable the external interrupts There are uh, two external interrupts INT0 and INT1. These two are actually active low interrupts because only when an active low signal is coming to this interrupt pins, these interrupt pins are actually external pins of 8051 microcontroller, right? So, when only an active low signal is coming to this two pins, these interrupts will get activated and also it can be enabled by the TCON register, interrupt enable register and priority register by setting the priority for these interrupts, we can also enable these interrupts. So, the correct answer is D, all the mentioned. Next question. Which is the 12th question. The register that provide control and status information about serial port is dash. A, I, P. I, P is interrupt priority register. Doesn't has to do anything with actually serial port. B, I, E is interrupt enable register. C, T, S, cone. I don't think there is a such, uh, such a register existing. Then D, P, cone and S, cone register. The correct answer is P, cone register, power control and serial communication control register are the two registers used for controlling the serial port or serial port communication. Correct answer is option D. Next question is question number 13. The instruction that is used to complement or invert the bit of a bit addressable special function register is dash. A. CLRC means clear carry. B. CPLC complement carry. C. CPL bit means complement a bit. D ANL bit means logical end of a bit. Okay. So, here the question is the instruction that is used to complement or invert the bit of a bit addressable special function register. The correct answer is option C. Why not A and B? Because, because they are actually specifically for carry flag, not for any other bit. So, you cannot use CLRC or CPLC to that is that instruction is not meant for a another bit it is only for carry that's why CP, CPLC and CLRC then D ANL bit it is not 
inverting or complementing it is taking of logical and okay so the correct answer is complement of a bit here we invert or take complement of a particular bit which can be used for a special function registers any bit location okay so the correct answer is option c 14th question is regarding a stack memory if we push data on to stack then the stack pointer a increases with every push b decreases with every push c increases and decreases with every push d none of the mention actually i have discussed about the push and pop about stack uh, while discussing uh, previous year question uh, videos okay so just know that when there is a memory called stack memory which we use for storing of uh, information or uh, data or program anything in a temporary manner so actually this stack memory we use generally while coming off interrupts consider the microcontroller is executing a main memory or main program not main memory a main program it is executing at that time an interrupt is coming so it will stop at whatever point it is processing and it will store the remaining portion to be processed on to the or the uh, it, it won't store the remaining data it store this next instructions address to this stack memory okay or to the stack so the stack is addressed with the help of a pointer called stack pointer so when this data has to be pushed or has to be stored to the stack the stack pointer will increment by one or it will increase by one okay the stack pointer is increasing during push instruction okay so this is very important now pop means taking out of data from the stack or retrieving the data from the stack is called pop this is called push and retrieving or taking back the data from the stack is called pop now when pop instruction or popping is happening or we retrieve the data from the stack the stack pointer will decrement by one or it will decrement okay so here the question is if we push data onto stack what will happen it will increase with every push it will increase that is when we want to store or when we want to pile data one above the other the pointer has to increase right so the correct answer is option a which is incrementing or increase next question and the last question for this video is question number 15 okay so the question number 15 is the registers the registers that are not accessible by the user a accumulator and b register no they are accessible by the user we can use it programmatically right so it is accessible b ip and i it is also accessible to the user c instruction registers they are accessible to the users d tmp1 and tmp2 so this tmp1 and tmp2 are the temporary registers the arithmetic operations are performed over the operands held by the temporary registers okay and these two temporary registers are tmp1 and tmp2 and users cannot access the temporary registers so the correct answer here is option d tmp1 and tmp2 this cannot be that is you cannot include this tmp1 and tmp2 in your program you cannot access it the users cannot access it so the correct answer for question number 15 is option d so these are the 15 questions which i have included in this video so while studying 8051 the most important thing is answering of mcq questions because you know that uh, if you are uh, preparing for any competitive examination the theory and everything is not going to come you have to be familiar with these type of questions so that's why i included these questions from various sessions i think i have covered almost all important areas from 8051 uh, so various questions i have included and if you want me to do more videos like this on mcq of 8051 please do mention in the comment section i'll be doing it okay and also if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching